What's up? How are you guys today? Last week, I showed you my current supplement routine. Today, I'm going to do my testosterone brain function protocol. Basically, I'm having some goat testicles as well as some caviar. The goat testicles have bioactive testosterone and components that boost your own testosterone. And the caviar has omega-3 DHA to help with brain function. I do have the goat testicles every week, but the caviar I'll do maybe once a month, once every two months. I haven't been having it as often. I do plan on getting some blood work to show again that this boosts your testosterone. We did it in the past a few years ago, but we're gonna do it again hopefully in a month or two. We'll do another video showing the updated testosterone results. But today is gonna be just me showing you how I personally do it practically so you guys understand that. So the caviar is off to the side, it's all ready, there's nothing we have to do. For the goat testicles, we do have these individually packaged on Frankie's syringe meat as well if you just want to do one at a time and I don't even need half of one at once. So you don't really need more than one of these per week in my opinion. Some people go crazy and have them every day. I don't think that's good. Any excess, even nutrients or hormones is gonna cause stress on the body and it's about being optimal, not overdoing everything. So we just cut it in half and now I'm gonna try to slice it up and get it reasonably small. It's better to have you know half one day, half the next day instead of doing it all at once. You know, your body can only really digest and absorb so much. So I guess you could say ideally you would have maybe a very small amount every single day to consistently boost testosterone, but you also want to give your body a break from certain things. And we want to uh, slice this as small as possible because we are going to swallow it raw. Uh, I'm not convinced that the testicles maintain a lot of their bioactive properties after they're heated. And you don't really want to put these in a blender or anything because they, they will oxidize very, very quickly. And that can also compromise the integrity of the bioactive component. So that's just dicing this up nice and small. And then I'll run my knife through it a few times. So we have our testicle chopped up. I have some Fuji water to swallow everything down. We have some masticum. This is a light antimicrobial to prevent any sort of bacteria from eating these foods. We want these to digest and be absorbed by our own body. So the masticum will help that. I have some magnesium and vitamin C that I take every single morning. I have a lot of bread in my diet and the magnesium is a very, very important mineral for basically all enzymatic processes. And then just the caviar, a caviar spoon. You don't really have to use this, it's mainly for the taste. If you guys want these, I, I'll get them on the website. I know some of you guys don't have these because when metal comes in contact with the caviar, it can kind of impart the metal taste. Uh, this is the hackleback sturgeon row we have on frankiestrangemeat.com. We also have the salmon row available, but uh, I don't really respond to salmon that well. I prefer the sturgeon caviar. It has a very mild flavor. It really doesn't have much taste at all. And that's the same with most raw meat. When you cook it, that gives it more flavor in general, especially adding salt. So since this is a raw, uncooked product, I can't really taste anything. Maybe like a slight, almost like scallopy, fishy flavor. So this is two ounces of caviar, probably a little bit overkill. Maybe you don't even need half of this. So, you know, have half the testicle one day, half the testicle the next day, same with the caviar. This tastes so much better than the salmon. That's why it's always way more expensive. You cannot compare the salmon caviar to sturgeon caviar. Will, uh, will Frankie boy have a sturgeon for him before he, uh, he wraps up the meat business? If you've never had sturgeon caviar, think of like a combination of butter and ocean flavor. I wouldn't call it fishy flavor. I would say it has almost like an oceanic seaweed hint to it. So now I have my vitamin C and my magnesium, and I'm going to take maybe half a teaspoon of masticum. If you go more than this much of the powdered masticum, well, which we have on organsupplements.com and then you put it in like a spice grinder or a coffee grinder, 
More than this, you, you might get diarrhea. So just be careful. F try to find the amount that works. And the real reason I do this is just to feel good and have energy levels. I have the liver damage, so my body isn't really producing testosterone as much as it should. So, you know, I do get kind of tired here and there. But if I do this on a weekly basis, I feel good. Maybe I should do it a little more frequently every five days because towards the end of that week, I do feel it taper off a little bit. But this isn't like a paper value thing. I'm getting so much nutrients. I feel the difference when I eat these foods. And that's what I tell people with everything. If you're not feeling a difference, if you don't think it's working, then it's not working. You have to actually feel it. And the main signs to look at for the testosterone, are you fatigued? Do you have a lack of strength in the gym? You know, are you lazy when just doing basic physical tasks? That's a good sign you might want to try this. And the brain stuff, you know, brain fog, memory issues, but so many things can cause that now. That's why I don't press people too much to have the omega-3 in their diet as frequently. But you guys can get this stuff on frankiesfreerangemeat.com and hopefully we can continue to provide you guys with high quality foods at an affordable price and continue to expand that. You can also get the Masticum on organsupplements.com, guys. We also have a, a few other things on there and just... If you want to check out all my businesses and some interesting stuff, you can go to frank-tofano.com. Outside of that, guys, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for the next video.